black hair in my opinion is big like voluminous independent and black hair is i say classy curly black hair is versatile creative black hair is bold it's world changing liberating black hair to me is phenomenal black hair is resilient and unique beautiful black hair is volume personal black hair is radiant powerful and also complicated you know all the other white products that people use you need to lock that up too because black people use that as well it all just depends on what black people use for their hair but if you want to lock up Cantu and you know Mio Organics and all that other type of stuff I mean you really just playing yourself because people not buying that anyway because it's too expensive well it's racist <laughs> I think because they never <laughs> they never lock up the right the white products like Suave, Dove, all that stuff stays on lot. And like, you know, anytime you go to a beauty supply store, you always get the people following you around. So it's just reinforcing stereotypes that really aren't true and that don't need to be reinforced. Because natural products are for black people, of course. So I would say why? Why are they why are they doing it? Why? That would be my only question, why? But I also feel like as black people, I think that we should kind of stand forward and kind of think, well, we don't really need those products because I don't even use Shea Moisture or Cantu. I use Suave, I use Dove, I use the Aussie. So I think what they're doing, it's kind of an oxymoron. They're doing it, trying to make us look bad, but really, we don't even need it. So it makes us look bad, like we always steal, of course, and not all black people steal. So let's put that out there, not all black people steal. <laughs> so yeah, it's just degrading, like, wow. Personally, I think it's just mainly towards stealing simply because like natural products, they are way more expensive. So Pantene can be like, oh, you know, maybe $5. But if you're trying to get some Cantu, that's roughly like $11, $12. A lot of that stuff is based off UPCs and what's the stuff that's taking the most is what they're gonna lock up. But I mean, it just makes you look like you're discriminating against people. Like it just makes your company look bad. Like they should know that because it's like, Okay, you're locking up these products because you're just gonna assume that black people are the only people stealing from Walmart. Everybody steals from Walmart for one. And so it's like to, to actually just put it out there and to target those specific hair products, it's like you're putting a huge target on every black person's back that walks in the store. Like, oh, you're automatically gonna steal because you're black and you got natural hair. Also, not wanting black people to elevate, you know, to the top because now everyone is using, now everyone is wearing their natural hair. I know back in like 2015, 14, it was something that was like, you was bullied on. Natural hair is the purest form of hair. <laughs> I would describe natural hair as keeping you with your roots, letting you know where you come from. <laughs> your original hair that's coming out of your scalp. That's, that's yours, nothing that's tampered with. I mean, it's okay to do like little you know, techniques like color it, maybe dye it. What comes clean out your scalp, like with, without being bothered or manipulated, you know, with a chemical. Natural hair is so versatile and natural hair is frustrating in a good way because how you do your hair one day may be so cute, right? But you try and do the same thing in two weeks but because you used a little bit more oil or a little bit more leave-in, it ain't gonna work, you know, it's all right. Natural hair, like, it changes, like, constantly, like, day to day, week to week. So you'll never really get that same look or that same hairstyle. So, and then you can do so many things with black hair, like, you could wash and goes, twist outs, braid outs, froze. Bantu knots, blowouts, you can just do so much stuff with black hair. Natural hair is anything that doesn't have chemicals in it. Chemicals, man-made chemicals that can strip your natural texture, your natural tone of your hair, how you were, how your hair was, how your hair was when you were born. I feel like natural hair is magical. Natural hair is what makes a black woman. So nothing 
um, that contains a whole bunch of like acids and parabens and things of that nature. I'm really into the whole whatever you can eat, use that on your hair. So I feel like that that is natural. It's just the hair that grows out of your head unprocessed. So like no chemical treatments, no straightening, just you know, as it grows out. Kinky, curly, short, uh, wavy, crimps, coils, curly, kinky, I would say wavy, defined, um, curly. Um, some people, it's like a lot of bounce, you know, just full of life. Natural hair is basically you. The hair that you were born with, no perms, no products, just get, getting out of the shower, washing your hair, and that's natural hair to me. Or hair without chemicals in it, or hair that's not relaxed or permed. Natural hair is what you're born with before you even change it, so it can be wavy, curly, whatever. But once you start putting the chemicals to it, it's no, no longer natural. Being natural is more of a better way of being yourself and taking care of yourself because your hair is a part of you. It's something, it's, it's more than just about your hair, it's a lifestyle, it's a way that you carry yourself because I noticed when I became natural, I started to change as a person. I started to build my confidence, I started to become more me instead of trying to follow the trends, trying to, you know, assimilate to a different type of culture that wasn't me. So I feel like in a sense, having your natural hair and loving your natural hair also gives you a sense of freedom. It's not processed. Um, there's no chemicals in your hair whatsoever that alter your natural, like what grew out of your hair texture. I am Anaya Turner and this is Between the Coils. I am Chelsea Pettiford and it's Between the Coils. I am Ayana Bush and this is Between the Coils. I am Catrice McCain and this is Between the Coils. I am Janae Wright, and this is Between the Coils. I am Ja'Kara Johnson, and this is Between the Coils. I am Asia Bailey, and this is Between the Coils. I am Arielle Akima Kendrick, and this is Between the Coils. I am Jillian Finley, and this is Between the Coils. I am Asia Craddock, and this is Between the Coils. I am Alexis Bennett, and this is Between the Coils. I am Unique Holmes, and this is Between the Coils. I am Matea Flemister, and this is Between the Coils. I am Katherine Greer, and this is Between the Coils. I am Maya Johnson, and this is Between the Coils. I am Demi Pino, and this is Between the Coils. I am Cassetta Hayes, and this is Between the Coils. I am Markeela Smith, and this is Between the Coils. I am Deja Pino, and I am a communications major at Alabama State University, um, focusing on radio television. And this documentary, it pretty much started with my professor. He assigned um, us to do a short film documentary, but then he changed his mind and he gave us um, something else to do as our final, but um, something just stuck with me and I was like, you know, I really should do this documentary. Um, a friend of mine who's also in this documentary actually gave me the topic of black hair and I kind of just went with it. Got a whole bunch of girls together from Alabama State University Different ages, different um, skin tones, different hair colors, hair textures, everything. It's just I got a whole bunch of beautiful women together to pretty much give them a platform to speak on. It's not really, it's not, I haven't seen many, um, you know, platforms where you have a college student directing and producing her own documentary and giving um, students, um, HBCU students, a platform to speak on about something, you know, just giving them, making them feel important, making them feel like their voice can be heard and it will be heard, you know what I'm saying? So this is pretty much that. Um, it's very relaxing, funny. It's just giving them the time to just be them and be themselves. So I hope you all enjoy it. I put a lot of time and effort into this. And yeah, thanks for watching.